What's going on guys, Shotgun here, back with another video. Um, I've just updated my Mac to Catalina two days ago. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm kind of late to the party, but you know, I was a bit busy, so didn't get a time to update everything, but now that I've updated it, I found a couple of new interesting stuff. So you guys send me a lot of questions on Facebook, um, a couple of comments on YouTube saying, hey, with the new update, um, how do I do the Bass RC stuff? because they've upgraded this shell. So if you don't already know, so from now on, the default shell on Mac is going to be the jet shell, or as you Americans call it, a G shells. I'll, I'll try to say G shells, because I reckon that's how it was meant to be pronounced. So G shell is a default shell for all newly created user accounts, starting with the Mac OS Catalina better. From now on, the default shells that we used to have, the born again shell or bash shell is going to be replaced. Not really replaced, it's, it's going to be on the system but the default one is going to be G shell. Um, so it has been there for like ages but it wasn't just active. So Apple has decided to step up the game and they were like, you know what, Like, let's just do G shell as a default shell. Yeah, so if you open your terminal up, um, you can see the information that says Hey, the default interactive shell is now G shell to update your account. Use this. Um, if you have an older one, do this kind of thing. Also, before I start, if you hear any noises, um, that's my roommate playing Fortnite um, in his computer in the other room. So yeah, I hope it won't get recorded. But yeah, you know, if if you hear it, that's that pretty much. So let let's get started. Um. So in order to know what your default shell is, if you already have a G shell, um, what you need to do is echo, um, so dollar sign capital shell, oh, not the Dell, <laughs> shell. So you can see my default shell is bin bash at the moment. Um, if you're a G shell, it'll just say bin slash G shell. Um, in order to see if you've already got G shell installed on your computer, you do cat, uh, the small one, so cat, um, so the directory is going to be EDC and then shells. So these are all the usable shells that you have. Bin bash, this one, this one, this one, this one. If you don't have anything that says bin slash G shells, what you need to do is install it. In order to do it, just simply do brew install G shell and it will install it in your computer. But I've already got it, so I'm, I'm not going to do it. If you don't have homebrew mate what are you doing um just install homebrew on your computer like if you have a mac computer you have to have homebrew that's the thing so yeah so if you don't know how to install homebrew i've, I've got the video before i've created a video like a couple of weeks ago so you can just give it a go or or in order to know if you have gshield it's like you, you can just do like gsh space this this and frozen and also hey this is the gshield that you have installed um, this is the latest version of the G shells that you have, so that's that. Now that we know that we do have G shell on our computer already installed, next thing we're going to do is change our default shell to G shell. I mean, if your G if your shell already says like your default shell is G shell, you don't need to do all this. You can skip all this part. Um, but if you don't have it, like this is what you need to do. So change shell. That's a chsh space minus shell slash. Uh, it's going to be space down here. So it's going to be bin slash g shell. And it says, uh, we're changing the shell for your user. What's your password? Uh, uh, wait, what? Credential could not be verified. Shut up. What are you talking about? Of course I know my password. Oh, there you go. Right, it's a stupid computer doing a stupid thing. Okay, uh, let's just exit the terminal. It's, oh mate, I'm pretty sure it's G shell right now. So echo dollar oh not the other way. Dollar shell beauty. Okay. So remember how we used to have um LESs before? So if I try to use that, let's say MSF console. Yeah, it says what the heck is MSF console, bro? Like, what are you talking about? Because uh, all our file setting is saved on bash rc file but gcell won't look at bash rc file 
So that's why all the commands that we did won't work on G shell. Yeah, all the horses, we'll, we'll fix it, we'll fix it. It's it's super easy. Um, just follow whatever I'm doing. Should be heaps easier, okay. Right, so next thing we're gonna do is install all my ZSH. So um, this is a thing I, um, it's an open source community driven framework by uh, Robbie Russell, I think, I'm um, bloody legend. Shout out to him. Um, so what, what it's gonna do is pretty much help you manage your G shell. Okay, so what we're gonna do is curl the page and install it. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna install oh my ZSH. So this is what we're gonna do. SH minus C and we'll just curl the page. And uh, yeah, it will clone this thing out, install your G shell. Nice, okay. Uh, now that we have GCL and all my JSH installed on our computer, so it says, hey, please look over this, this file. So this is our alternative to bash RC file. It's a JSH RC file. So it's gonna be in this, uh, no, I don't want my note to start. Um, so it's gonna be in this folder. So if you go to change drive, my root directory ls um change um hold on so cat dot there you go rc there you go heaps of those things okay so we'll just edit this file um no before we edit that what we're gonna do we are going to copy everything from our bash rc file so we're just gonna do sudo nano uh, dot either bash rc or bash profile so i don't have a bash rc but um i have a bash on script profile file so we'll just copy this thing oh so these are all the commands that we have we'll copy this thing um so we'll just go to sudo nano dot ussrc so what i just did is um i pretty much opened my bash profile Copy the file. So if you don't have bash profile file, it's gonna be dot bash rc file. So um sudo nano this thing. Um this is where we're gonna paste it. Let's don't delete anything, we'll just add something at the end of the file. So this is what we're gonna do. Um hash uh, to comment and we'll say we'll just say this is settings copied from uh, bash RC files and we'll just paste it down here. Uh, we'll right here. Okay, control X, uh, clear this thing O, exit this thing O, exit this thing O, start my this thing O, ls. Okay, now if I do msf console, there you go, it works. Okay, so we've successfully copied all the setting from bash RC files to gshrc file uh which is a heaps cool now let's do some fancy work so we like let's make let's pimp this baby up um let's let's just make this g shell heaps better um i'll just exit out of the metasploit clear so everything we need to work on it's going to be on this file so let's do sudo nano again vim sudo uh, nano vim nano whatever you feel like um yeah, so we'll just edit this file. Um, right, so we'll just change the theme, A. Eh? So it says the default theme for now is Robbie Russell. But if you go to this folder, theme folder, there's heaps of those, A. Eh? How good is this? Okay, so you can use any of these themes. Like, you can try it one by one. Uh, for instance, I'll just try to do it random at the moment. Let's see, random, control O, enter, control X, exit. Now every time I open a terminal, it's gonna be a random theme. Close it, this is not what I wanted. Different, look at that, different, close. Start it again, different, cool, easy. So like, let's say you put the theme as a random, you'll like the theme that you're seeing at the moment. So let's say I'll like this one better. So what I can do is, I'll give you a name. It says random theme loaded. 
the name of the theme is this so if I want this theme to load all the time you open the terminal up what you can do is just do sudo nano this one ghsrc put the password in um, we've got a theme a line down here Uh, paste it, save it with Control O, Enter, Control X, Exit. See, big keys. Look at that. How good is this? Now, every time I open it up, it's going to be the same. Right. So that's pretty much all about how you um, export all the setting from your Bash file to GSL file or GSSRC file. Um, yeah, and that's, that's pretty much all about it for this video. Uh, I'll try to do like a different videos on how to increase productivity of G Shell. Um, until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you guys commenting on my video, liking on my video. If you run into any troubles, just leave the comments down in the comment section below. I'll try to help you guys. If you have any videos or ideas, feel free to drop them down there. Um, and as always, I love you all, you bloody legends. And happy pen testing. I'll see you guys in another video.